sometimes we'll need to use the slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines to write equations of lines, okay? An example of that would be with this first problem I have on the left. Find the equation of a line perpendicular to y equals 2x plus 4 that passes through the point negative 3, 4, okay? As with all lines, when I'm writing the equation of a line, I'm going to need to fill in two things, the slope and the y-intercept, okay? If I can get the slope and the y-intercept, then I am done and I'm good to go. Now, the first thing that we'll need to kind of pay attention to here is this is a perpendicular line to y equals 2x plus 4. We know that any line perpendicular to y equals 2x plus 4, since our slope is 2, the slope of any line perpendicular to that should be a, the opposite reciprocal, meaning I flip over 2 over 1, make it 1 half, and it's positive, so we'll change the sign to negative, so negative 1 half. So I'm just going to fill that. My new line must have a slope of negative 1 half, since it's perpendicular to this line y equals 2x plus 4. And now from here, they told me a point that it passes through, so I can go ahead and fill in the y and the x and write the equation from here. So I've got 4 equals negative 1 half times 3 plus, we don't know what b is, so we'll leave that as a variable. This will give me 4 is equal to, I'll put this as, a, we'll use 1.5 here for today. Uh, and then I'll subtract 1.5 from both sides. You could do 1 and a half, you could do 3 over 2, it's all the same. Uh, and this would be 2 and a half or 2.5 is equal to b. Okay, so we've just written the equation of the line. And what I'll do is real quickly show you kind of how this is all connected. You don't have to do this in a problem, but it helps to see the picture here. So we had some line, y equals 2x plus 4, which would start at 4, it'd be going uphill from left to right. And that, that would be a picture of what your line would look like. That's the original line. And we had some line that's perpendicular to this line that passed through negative 3, 4, okay? So our line, if it's perpendicular, must be doing something kind of, you know, it must be crossing here at about a right angle. And I'm just going to graph from here. Since we know our slope was negative 1 half, it'll be going down 1 over 2, so it'll look something like this. And if we sketch this line, you can kind of see here that this is going to form a right angle. And also, it looks like it's crossing the y-axis right here. That's your y-intercept of your new line at about 2 and a half. And that's why our b came out to be 2 and a half. So it's all connected. The graph, the equation, it all, it all interlocks and, and makes sense. Okay. All right, we're going to try one more here. So we're going to deal with parallel lines this time. And we'll also deal with a line that's not in slope-intercept form. Okay. So we're going to find the equation of a line parallel to 3x plus 2y equals 1 that passes through the point 1, 5. Okay? Fill in my x, my y here just to help me out. Problem with this line is it's not in slope-intercept form. So if you thought that 3 was the slope of this line, remember that we need to isolate the y first. So I'm actually going to do that right now. So I'll move the 3x over. That gives me 2y equals negative 3x plus 1. And then I'm going to divide each of these pieces by 2. So I'll get y equals negative 3 over 2x plus a half. And when I'm writing the equation of the line, since my new line that I'm trying to find is parallel to y equals negative 3 over 2x plus a half, since they're parallel, I know that it's got to have the same slope. So I can fill that in, negative 3 over 2. If it was perpendicular, I'd have to flip it and switch the signs. I'd have to take the opposite reciprocal, which would be 2 thirds. But since it's parallel, the slopes should be the same. Now that I have the slope, again, I don't even need this b. These b's really don't help us out here, if you see that. They're not that important. Um, you know, that 4 up here wasn't that important. Um, we only really need the slope from those lines. But now that I have the slope of this line I'm trying to find, I can plug in the ordered pair. So we can do 5 and 1 in for the x, and we could do equals negative 3 over 2 plus, we'll put b as a variable, we're trying to find out what that is, so we get 5 equals negative 1.5 plus b, and if I add 1.5 to both sides, you should be getting b is equal to 6.5 or 6.5, 
okay? So and that we can fill in right here, and that would be the equation of a line that is parallel to 3x plus 2y equals 1, okay? I won't graph this one, but I'll leave it to you guys. If you graph both of these lines, they should be parallel, and if you pass your line with a slope of negative 3 halves through the point 1, 5, it should be crossing the y-axis at 6 and a half.